Here's Brownie, and this is day 20. It's been a month. Day 30 since this wound started. Just wanted to show y'all what we've been doing to it every day. Um, unfortunately, we didn't start videoing it from the very beginning. But the first thing that we've been doing when we come out, Brownie Stan, is hitting it with some peroxide because that'll help a lot to debride the wound and get a little oxygen going in there. So after we, after we do the peroxide, just take your hose and rinse it good. And here we're using the Equiderma Neem shampoo. And you're gonna wanna really scrub it. And a lot of people are afraid to get in there and scrub it, but you need to get the scab off and you need to debride it. That's going to help it heal a whole lot better. So, debride meaning any scabs, any crud that's not actually part of him needs to come off. And Brownie's got pockets up in here, you can see. He's got quite a few pockets before we could put almost our whole hand up in there, but it's closed up a lot. Still, it's very, very important to, oops, to flush that out. So whether you're dealing with a puncture wound or whether you're dealing with a cut like this, this had a very deep gouge up in it, you still want to get deep in there and flush it. Flush it very good. Don't be afraid to be a little aggressive with it because those are the areas that are most prone to infection pockets like that forming if you've got a puncture wound somewhere get yourself a small tip syringe um, and just stick it right in there and flush it out so you can see a little bit of debris coming out of that um, and then we go ahead and rinse that off again And now we're going to apply the skin lotion, or the, the wound ointment. This is the Equiderma wound ointment. The main ingredients are calendula and neem. The beauty of this is that not only does it heal things really great, but it also keeps the bugs, which is really a way which is super important, especially in hot climates. So. We're just going to put that on real good and massage it in, and we're done. And Laura's been doing that <clears throat> twice a day. She cleans it really well in the morning, flushes it out, and applies the wound ointment, and also in the evening. So we're hoping that within about two weeks, we're going to see this wound completely resolved and closed up. No proud flesh, no scarring. But we'll... We'll do another video as time goes on and keep on taking pictures. And thank you for watching our video.